uh, this morning. Again, uh, I want to call upon the MCS. I know you have taken a stand on the issues of my deputy. Uh, it touches my office. Therefore, I'll request that you reconsider your position. Uh, I know that you have uh, set the day tomorrow to be the debate day on voting. I would uh, urge you, uh, this is what we have again agreed, uh, that uh, you consider your position so that we can address those issues outside the Assembly and outside the Senate, if it's possible. Uh, because it's only through this route, and as uh, Bishop Davis uh, mentioned, to see if it's possible, uh, we can resort out. A person who, who is uh, aggrieved, we can reach out to him, bring them, we discuss, we see the best way out, because that's the only way we can uh, move as a team. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, our governor for Kisi County, for giving us this opportunity uh, just to fellowship with you and have a time of prayer, especially concerning what has been happening in this great county, Kisi County. Uh, we are seeking for the healing of Kisi County, politically and spiritually. So we have come up with a way forward. We have requested our governor to reach out to his uh, political colleagues and especially those who are in leadership uh, so that they can have a conversation around bringing peace into this uh, county. We desire to see our leaders come together despite of the political uh, inclinations or affiliations. So we have requested that he reaches out, especially to the deputy governor, reach out to him, reach <clears throat> out to the members of parliament, members of uh, the county assembly, uh, and also even reach out to the CS, uh, so that uh, they can actually have a conversation on how we can work together